Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you two recipes with red miso. First one is called udon with red miso sauce. The red miso sauce is rich, but with a little bit of vinegar in it and a lot of veggies. It's very refreshing. First, microwave one tablespoon of mirin for one minute to evaporate the alcohol in the mirin. Add 2 tablespoons of red miso and 1 tablespoon of vinegar there and mix them well. And a little bit of sugar. This sugar makes the sauce much tastier. That's the tasty sauce for cold udon. I'm using this lighter color version of the red miso for this, but you can use any red miso. I like organic miso from Hikari Miso in the US since the quality is great. Also, I try to buy miso which doesn't contain alcohol because it's more natural and flavorful. Cut some fresh veggies you like. I like cutting them thinly to make them easier to eat with the noodles. This time, I'm using dry udon noodle noodles, so boil them beforehand. Cool with ice water and drain well. Serve the udon noodles with colorful fresh vegetables. Top with the red miso sauce. Also top with sesame oil and sesame seed. Next one is hot red miso udon. This time, I'm using this dark red miso which is called Hachjo miso. It's fermented longer than the lighter color types of red miso, and it's from my hometown area, Aichi Prefecture. First, let's make dashi soup. I love using these dashi packs that I introduced in my Japan call video for making dashi soup. Good quality, tasty, and easy to use. You can see other ingredients and food from Japan in the video, so it's fun to watch. Next, prepare the red miso in the bowl and add some of the dashi soup to dissolve the miso. In this way, you can dissolve the miso easily. Then take out the dashi packet. Before you discard it, squeeze all the umami out of the packet. Turn off the heat and add the miso paste into the dashi soup. Add the sake and a little bit of sugar there. The red miso is saltier than the other lighter color types of miso, so the taste will be balanced if you add a little sweetness to it. Turn on the heat again but keep it low. Add some green onion and other ingredients such as tofu, mushrooms, and fish cakes. Today, I'm adding some fried tofu, aburaage. Cook for a minute. This time, I'm using this frozen udon. Microwave for 3 minutes and it's ready to eat. Add the cooked udon to the red miso soup. Drop and an egg in the center. Put a little on the pan or pot to cook the runny egg at low heat. When the egg is perfectly cooked, turn off the heat 
and open the lid. The rich red miso soup and mild egg match nicely. Sprinkle some chopped green onion to have more colors. To keep it warm, I'm having it from the pan. And let's wash it. I like adding some Japanese red chili pepper spices. The dish now has an umami taste from the miso and dashi. Everything works great together to create this full and deep flavor. This is not the final step to enjoy this meal. If you have some red miso soup left, you can make delicious cheesy miso risotto. Add some cooked rice. Cook for a while to let the rice absorb the tasty miso soup. Top with some cheese and black pepper. The best. I'll be posting more videos with Japanese ingredients, so please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and see you again. Matane!